as we have reported many times here on The Factor, mental health issues is not something that just impacts adults. It can affect children as well. But what happens if someone takes in a foster child with those issues? What kind of support, if any, is available out there? Joining us to talk about the conversation, Mac Montgomery, the owner of Winter Circle Group Texas, client Mark Scott, Leslie Williams from KMHP, and licensed professional counselor Jennifer Martinez. Glad to have you all on The Factor Uncensored. So, Mark, let's begin with you. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mac, let's begin with you. When we talk about bringing children who are in foster care into homes, many times it's a surprise to parents what they get or foster parents what they get. And how difficult is it for that foster parent to deal with that? A lot of times it's very difficult. So the kids come in with behaviors and trauma from previous experiences, and honestly, there's little support, right? So within the state of Texas, Texas ranks uh, 50th in the nation to access, with access to mental health. So being a vehicle, as such as Winter Circle Group of Texas is, we want to provide that support, uh, those support services within the community. And do you see parents, foster parents, saying, this is too much for me, I'm taking this child back? Uh, a lot of times. So you see, uh, the problem happens whenever they get the kid in and, th and those behaviors arise, right? So when those behaviors arise, what they want to do is the child, uh, they want to replace the child. So the child goes from placement to placement to placement. Um, most times they don't understand that this is creating more trauma within the child because they've just been uh, removed from their home. They come to a foster parent, does, that foster parent gets the child with the behaviors and they can't deal with it. Um, and the problem is that they just don't have the support. And Mark, as a client, how has it been for you? Has it been difficult? What was the process like with you? Being in foster care? Yeah. Um, I could say it was definitely rough, but it was rough around the edges, I could say that. Mm -hmm. And so what helped you get on the right path um, if you needed that? I could say just putting myself, I don't know, asking for help. Uh huh. Asking for help mostly. And was that a tough thing for you to do yeah. to ask for help? Yeah, because I'm used to just following directions and stuff like that and going with the flow, then speaking up for myself. All right, and Leslie, let's hear from you as well about dealing with this. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a qualified mental health professional and I work for the Winter Circle Group of Texas and my job is to go in there and teach the kids skills, skill development, crisis management, we do case management and medication management. Mm -hmm. So with the skill building we teach them what they need to learn uh, for their life. Uh, hygiene, uh, we teach them about love, we teach them about relationships, whatever that client needs, we, we do it. And sometimes you have to start with the very basics, like yes. you said, yes. hygiene. Yes, yes, uh, we do hygiene, we just want to improve their appearance, we want to make sure they're uh, cleaning themselves, they're using deodorant, you know, make sure they uh, smell good and taking care of their body, yes. Okay, and Jennifer, your thoughts, how difficult is it for parents to deal with this and also for you guys to step in and try to get the child on the right path. It's very difficult. Um, by the time we get these kids, these children, they're tired. They've been from home to home. Mm -hmm. They don't, they have trust issues and they don't trust anyone. So just letting us in is very difficult. And, we're, and guys, we're not talking about just maybe one or two homes. We're talking about home after home after home, right? Yeah, yeah. home after home after home. And I think that uh, has a lot to do with the training of the foster parent, right? Mm -hmm. So the child placement agencies, RTCs, GROs that we work with, um, you know, they have a training curriculum that they go through. And a lot of times these are new parents that are new to foster care, so they're not really privy to the behaviors that are happening within the kids. So they get surprised, like you said earlier. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the Winter Circle Group of Texas. You guys are in place. Should parents come to you? How do you guys work for those who are looking for help out there in the public? Well, you can always reach us on our website, www.winnercirclegroupoftexas.com. Uh, from that website, we're in five different locations in Texas. So as the owner, my job is to be able to reach as many kids as possible, right? So mm -hmm. we're opening up in across Texas because of the access to mental health. So if you go to www.winnercirclegroupoftexas.com, if you click the drop down box, you can fill out a referral right there. And immediately it goes to one of our executive admins 
and they start the process from there. And they give the parent the help that they may yes, need sir. dealing with this. Okay. Yes, Thank sir. you guys for joining us. It's a service that's severely needed around the state of Texas and around the country. Yes, Still